Hey, friends, and welcome to You Awaken in a Strange Place, where nerds and creatives play a role-playing game designed by Jacob Andrews from the Draw Free YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. We will be playing for two to three hours with a break near the quarter, one-third point, near the beginning. Uh, I am Captain Zach, GM of the Iron Hearts game on our Nerdcrafty Twitch and YouTube channel, which airs every other Sunday on at 5.30 p.m. I'm also on our, on our um, Ignore the Bird, Follow the River podcast, and um, I can be heard along with our friends uh, Weston and Adam, and I'm really excited about our latest episode. Um, it might be our best yet because we have the writer of the Willow source book and, and table our tabletop RPG guru Alan Varney as a guest, and it's a very special episode. And we get to spend a couple hours with him, picking his brain. It's a lot of fun. Um, on the uh, list of nerd crafty items that you can watch, you can also see Weston, aka Lava Submersible do his art stream every Tuesdays at 3.30. And you can see Sam, our magician producer, do her great map experiment every other Wednesday at 5 o'clock Pacific time. And also a friendly reminder that Nerd Crafty creators are available for hire and contributions. You can visit nerdcrafty.com to get in contact with us and have us maybe run one of your games. Uh, tonight I am tonight we are playing live. We will be playing for two to three hours, and so feel free to join us in the Twitch chat. You might even get a conversation with Sam in there. And I'm joined by my friends Weston, Jay, and Ronnie. Weston, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, hiya. I'm Weston Lee Ball, actor, musician, uh, rabble rouser. Uh, <laughs> I. Uh, um, you can find me at Lava Submersible on TikTok and on uh, Instagram, and find my art there. And uh, yeah, that's that's me, Jay. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself, my friend? Howdy, I'm Jay. That's that's all we got, just Jay. <laughs> and Ronnie, how about you, my friend? Hey, I'm Ronnie, and. I have a art page called MS Paint Trash that you could follow. Uh, it's very uh, grotesque and disgusting. It's uh, on <laughs> Facebook and Instagram. And uh, yeah, that, that about sums it up. So tonight we're play playing a very improv-friendly game. The core tenets of the game, as designed by Jacob Andrews, include that everyone comes to the game unprepared, including myself. I've actually had a, a beer or an adult beverage. Anything the GM or the players say about the world is true about the world. And the game must be finished in one session. What you'll need to play are a paper, uh, a writing utensil, and 2D6. So steal from your Yahtzee set if you need to. What we're going to do is first establish the setting. Now, this requires that you silently think of something. So for Jay, Ronnie, Weston, I'm going to have you silently think of something. We will choose one person to be the GM. That'll be me tonight. And the rest of you are going to be players. Each player is going to roll 2d6. And this is going to determine the order that you'll be working in as we establish our setting and characters. So Weston, Ronnie, Jay, go ahead and roll your dice. Total of seven. I've got a seven as well. Okay, Jay, um, why don't you roll again? Because we don't want to tie. Eight. I got 10. Okay. So, Ronnie, you will be going first with your result of 10. Jay, you'll go next with your result of 8. And Weston, you'll be going last with your result of 7. So, Ronnie, 
I would like you to silently think of a genre action film, murder mystery, anime romance. Silently think of a genre. And Jay, I would like you to silently think of an adjective, a descriptor. And Weston, you will silently think of a location. I'll give you guys a, a minute or two here. All right, Ronnie, have you thought of a genre? Uh, yes. Uh, do I say it? Yes, please. Now is the time. Coming of age? A coming of age story. Okay. All right. And Jay, have you thought of a descriptor? Does Wendy count as a descriptor? Wendy. Windy. Just to clarify, you're saying windy. Air. Yeah. Air. Okay. Windy. windy. All right. That works. And Weston, location. Uh uh Rural New Mexico. We will be playing a windy coming-of-age story that takes place in rural New Mexico. All right. Thanks, guys. So now <laughs> in the same turn order, we're going to make one statement about the world of the game. And as per the core tenets of this game, whatever you say becomes true about the world. Ronnie, what is something about our windy coming of age story in rural New Mexico? Everybody eats spiders. Okay, everybody eats spiders. That's all we eat. That's all we eat. Okay. Everybody eats spiders only. Okay. And Jay, what is another statement about our windy coming of age story that takes place in rural New Mexico where everybody eats spiders? And we can we can mix up the turn order if you want another moment to think. Uh, please, thank you. Okay, Weston, you're on the spot. What is a true statement about our windy coming of age story that takes place in rural New Mexico, where everybody eats spiders only? Uh, it's an alternate alternate universe where we are uh, the. A uh, human equivalent from an evolutionary tree stemming from flies. We are evolved from flies. Okay. My goodness. <laughs> Jay, I feel like I did you a disservice. Not <laughs> possibly. Uh, everyone lives in tree houses. Okay, no one's on the ground. And it's really windy, so that makes perfect sense. Absolutely. You just got to make your, your foundations really sturdy. <laughs> okay. So because this is a coming of age story, I would like to have it take place maybe at a high school. What do you guys think about that? 
No, I think that's good. Uh, high school sounds like, I mean, honestly, it's so funny because I was thinking about, uh, I was thinking about that earlier, like just like, uh, not not prepping. I wasn't prepping. Let me be clear. But I like that. So it takes place at NMHS New Mexico High School. Okay. Very original. Thank you. Who's who's like? Well, I'm already on my toes, thrown for a loop. If if I may, um, I, could we yes. could we say it's like named after a famous like uh, civic hero or something like that, like um, from our our universe where they're like. Uh, Fly Killer McBuzzBuzz or something like that? Or Spider okay. Killer McBuzzBuzz? Spider Killer McBuzzBuzz is the founder of our school. So it's, you know, usually everyone will just say it's, you know, uh, McBuzzBuzz High, you know? Okay, McBuzzBuzz High. I like it. It's our mascot. <laughs> It's it's a fly, but he's got like bandoliers and like a Rambo headband. <laughs> he's like, okay. <laughs> um, because it's windy, and everyone lives in tree houses, and we're evolved from flies. Can we just establish that everyone has wings, like fly wings? Oh, certainly. <clears throat> Do we still have the funky proboscis that like spits acid to help us eat our food? Uh, Jay, Ronnie, what is your vote? Uh, I think that's an effective way to eat spiders. It should be like in the fly where we just barf out of our mouths. <laughs> <laughs> what if our teeth have their own mouths and they barf? Yeah, our teeth are like weird sponges. They're prob- uh, yeah, our teeth are individual probos probosci? Proboscises? <laughs> <laughs> or sponges? I do like sponges though. Oh boy. We started out so simple. Coming of age, windy, rural New Mexico. How did we get here, guys? <laughs> Uh, blame me, I guess. <laughs> All right, no, well... No. no, no. I don't know if we've nailed it down, but we're definitely uh, acid pukers as far as our eating habits go. I don't know exactly what the, the flavor of that is. Have we determined for sure which way we go? On um, What was the question? Um, we, of the several ideas we had... Involving vomiting acid onto our foods to help dissolve it so that we can eat it. Which did you think was interesting? <laughs> the, or, oh, or which did you come up with? I will allow creative liberty on this. Who's to say that we all evolved the same way from flies? Yeah. So your, your proboscis, your uh, acid sponge teeth, I leave to your guys' character creation, and you will encounter NPCs that are the same or different. Okay. Um, are there any other statements that you guys would like to make about our setting so far? Ooh. Um, I definitely think I, I'm like, I'm thinking of it like this is, even for this alternate universe, they have like already gone, un undergone like uh, some kind of scenario that is essentially where they like uh, uh, like an apocalyptic kind of situation where only a handful of survivors were left. And this is like the result of the rebuild of society. Um, so like they, okay, they've cool. rebuilt like, you know, maybe... 50, 25, maybe even a uh, hundred years. And this is like where society has gotten back to, to high schools and, you know, uh, living in our, our tree houses and whatnot. I don't know. What do you guys think? So it's a, it's true is what I think. It's a post-apocalyptic setting. And um, 
the outside world. It sounds like we eat spiders, but maybe they eat us also. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, spiders are like, I, I would imagine that they're, I, well, okay, I'm imagining spiders as just regular old spiders, you know? We yeah. Their food. Maybe, maybe oh, spiders okay. also, uh, maybe there's like tiny spiders and tiny flies still, and spiders also separately evolved into like humanoid people. I like that one. Okay. And they're all like alphas. Oh no. <laughs> Sigma. <I like> <laughs> Sigma. Sigma fly. <laughs> Sigma fly grind set baby. Check out my my and, forward. My and black widow, of course. <laughs> Um, oh crap, I had a thought. What was it? I like the uh, post-apocalyptic setting. Um, oh, yes. To set the time, because flies, at least by urban legend, only live for 24 hours. I think you guys are like halfway through your life cycle. You've been alive for 12 hours, so you've got to go through high school in one or two hours <laughs> well it's like uh that movie where they age rapidly on the beach what? i'm unfamiliar with the movie but yes i would like your high school experience to be two hours it's the new guys... movie. we're graduating every you know half an hour then <laughs> yeah from each grade yes I vote that we have the normal life cycle, like human life cycle. Oh, okay. Yeah, that might make it easier. I, I definitely think if if flies were to have evolved into people like us, they would definitely wouldn't have the the short lifespan of a fly. But I don't think it would be the same as our lifespan. Probably shorter. Yeah. Maybe um, like forty years. Yeah, or like maybe even like you know, like medieval people, 35 years, you know, like even with all of the scientific, te like technological, like advancements, you know, we're still, we're maxing out at like 35, 40 years. Okay. Especially it being a post-apocalypse. I think that even makes more sense. And with the ongoing spider conflicts. Yeah. I mean, since there's spider people and we eat the spiders, um, almost like in this reversal of the dynamic, uh, are we like in conflict with spiders, or do we live in like just a a kind of tense situ a tense balance with the the spiders in the same society? It sounds to me like there's going to be spider hybrid evolved people that you have to deal with. They live in the next town over, and they always come uh, riding with their big pickup trucks through our town and harassing us. <laughs> Dude, they stole our mascot. <laughs> they put it in the fountain with, like, Kool-Aid so it looked like blood. Uncool. Not spider kill with buzz buzz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I mean, it is a pretty racially insensitive name, if you think about it, <laughs> in this world now. Now that this world that we have developed over, after creating his name, um, you know, it's a pretty insensitive name. Okay, maybe well, I hope... Uh... Go ahead. Right, was Thomas Jefferson. Uh, maybe it's like a, like a Simpsons, uh, Springfield, Shelbyville type of situation where we're just... Uh... <laughs> mm -hmm. We just don't like each other, uh, like as opposing towns, but we're like, it's not like super tense or anything. Yeah, oh, okay. it's like, it's, you know, there's probably some like history there of like conflict between the two, but 
Um, most of that's like mellowed out. There's you know all kinds of like uh, there's years of of uh, cohabitation at this point. Okay. Okay. We're always playing pranks on each other. There we go. Thank you. All right. Well, I hope you guys have some character concepts floating through your brain because next, um, either in the order that we have, Ronnie J. Weston, or in an order of someone who has an idea already, you will be creating your characters. So who has a character concept ready to go? Or at least has formulated the beginnings of one. Don't all jump at once. Let's roll for it, because I don't I don't I'm not ready yet, but I could spitball something well, quick if I need to. Well, I'd rather keep the roles that we have already. Um, we've got Ronnie first, followed by Jay, followed by Weston. So, Ronnie, do you have any concept about a character yet? All I have is a name right now. Okay, what's your character name? Uh, Buzzy Jenkins. Buzzy Jenkins, all right. And... Um, is Bunky is Buzzy Jenkins a freshman, sophomore, a junior, or a senior? Uh, he's a junior. Junior, okay. And now you will each of you will have to think of some skill verbs or flaws, bonuses, and flaws that apply to your character. One skill that they're amazing at which you'll get a plus two on your die rolls for. One skill that you're good at, which you'll get a plus one. Sorry, I think I said plus two the first time. You'll get a plus one on your good skill. One skill that you're bad at, that you'll get a negative one to. And one skill that you're horrible at, that you'll get a negative two applied to your dice rolls. Ronnie, do you have any plus two really good skill ideas yet i have a license <laughs> you have a license <laughs> <laughs> so i'm gonna put driving slash driver's license because it's better if it's a verb and what are what is buzzy jenkins good at so this is your plus one Talking his way out of trouble. All right, so I'm going to put down just silver tongue. And then in parentheses, talks out of trouble. And what's something that he's not good at? A negative one. Can, um, uh, driving. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> is it possible to do that? If you want to, you got to pick it as either a plus two or a negative one. You can have your driver's okay. license and be bad at driving, or you can have your driver's license and be good at driving. Which do you prefer? Really good at driving. Which do you prefer? <laughs> okay. Uh, I, uh, I have a fly IBS. Okay. All right. So you've got a negative one at using the restroom.
If I heard that correctly, you said you have fly IBS. So you've yeah, got a sorry. negative one. <laughs> okay. I'm really bad Enough at said. coming up with things off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. And a negative two, something that Buzzy Jenkins just, it's almost impossible for him to do this. Mm-hmm. But no, uh, he's an in, uh, he can't sleep. Uh, <laughs> he's terrible at sleeping. Okay, yeah, insomniac. Perfect. I want you to continue thinking about Buzzy Jenkins and add any um, flavor that you see fit to your character as we transition to Jay. Jay, do you have any ideas or concepts for your character yet? Yeah, I was thinking I'm um, a descendant of the great spider kill McBuzzbuzz, uh, Marty McBuzzbuzz. Okay. Marty McBuzzbuzz. Descended from the great spider killer McBuzzbuzz. And have you thought about what Marty McBuzzbuzz is really good at? Um, pranking spiders. Pranking spiders. All right, so subterfuge, maybe? <laughs> yeah, that works. And what is he good at? Uh, Marty McBuzzbuzz is going to be on the, the the fly polo team. So he's good at sports, polo. athletics. Huh? What do you think about athletics? He's good at good at athletics. Oh yeah, that, that's good. That's good. And you said what sport in particular you want him to be good at? Uh. Air polo. It's like water polo, but in the air because we have wings. <laughs> I love it. And what is he not so good at? His negative one. Um, reading stuff. Books are hard, man. <laughs> reading oh, no. stuff. So academics. And what is he horrible at? Almost impossible. Is is uh, sharing emotions possible? <laughs> he's, he's a real, real he's, close he's good. Emotionally, he's emotionally illiterate. Yeah. And he's also slightly illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> That is perfect. I would like you to think about some other aspects of your character and write them down while Weston describes to me what you have so far for your character. My name is Scrimball Jimbity. Um, and oddly, Scrimball is, I wrote down almost the exact same stats as Jay. <laughs> It was almost the exact same words. Okay. Literally, sports not get my my plus one was not getting in trouble. That's probably the only one I'm going to keep at this one at this point because my other two were expressing my feelings and happiness. So, um, yeah, I'm going to quickly just uh, give you a description that's going to completely rewrite Scrimball Jimbity. <clears throat> so, Scrimball Jimbity. Uh, was actually, he was good at sports when he was younger. Uh, 
Uh, but as he got older, he found himself like less coordinated somehow in a reversal of everyone else he knew. Um, and so Scrimball Jimbity instead uh, decided to go into uh, STEM classes and started learning robotics. Um, and uh, so Scrimball Jimbity has, has built himself a, uh, uh, a little foot and a half uh robot version of himself that just like has basic like voice activated commands and kind of just walks along with him but doesn't really like it's not like a full automaton or whatever um it just you know it's kind of what like... is what do you call your robot friend what's his name or who? um uh were they buddy ball jim scrim All right, and what are, and your plus one is not getting in trouble or just lucky, we'll say. Fair enough. Okay, so yeah, that is my plus one. Uh, my plus two is going to be brain smarts. Or robotics, okay. Okay, whatever you want to call it. Oh, I like using parentheses on everything, so I've got both. And you're negative one. You're not so good at. Well, when uh, Scrimball Jimbity was younger, they weren't very good at expressing their emotions. But as they got older and, uh, you know, weren't able to rely on their physical abilities as much uh, to kind of get by and, and uh, you know, uh, get attention, they had to start uh, thinking about, uh, you know, how they felt about things. So. Uh, Scrimball Jimbity is actually, um, uh, he's bad at holding in his emotions. Now he just kind of info dumps at you. <laughs> okay. And what is nearly impossible for Scrimball Jimbity to do? Uh... Scrimball Jimbity, like I said, is now uh, fairly uncoordinated. So um, Scrimball Jimbity uh, doesn't, is not like the, uh, how do we put this? He's not very good at like uh, motor skills. <laughs> he kind of, he kind of has a funny slouch. He, he walks funny. Um, uh, he's kind of like just, doesn't really carry himself like uh, like a proud fly flying. person. Or flying. Uh, he's also not good at flying. He's also not good at driving. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Um, so ideally, all of those skills that we all, that you all came up with for your characters will come up during play. Are there any other skills that you guys would like to see come up besides brain smarts, lucky, withholding emotions, motor skills, driving, talking your way out of trouble, using the restroom, sleeping, subterfuge or pranking, air polo or athletics, reading and stuff, or sharing emotions. Um. So flying's in there. Um. We. Uh. What about uh? Is flying? What about? I think we should because it's a high school coming of age thing. I think maybe talking to girls should be a skill that we all get. <laughs> Or talking to, you know, a romantic interest kind of thing. Okay. Maybe just under a general, like, social skills <laughs> skill. I, okay, sure.
Um, holding in school lunch. Is that a skill we need? No. We, we, I think we've got that covered. <laughs> oh, yeah. We eat with our, our proboscis or uh, sponge teeth or whatever we want. Yeah. I leave it to your imagination. <laughs> um... What do you guys think about, well, I want to hear from you guys first, actually. Are there any other skills that you guys think might come up or that you would like to come up during the game? Um, I'm really tough. Tough. Okay. This isn't a skill, but I was gonna see. Are we like, um, are we like a click, guys? Like, are we like a, a friend group? Like one of those odd friend mm. groups of like one of every genre of teenager. Like the Breakfast Club. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, but like an or established like... group already, you know. I don't know. Or not. Also, maybe it could be like a breakfast club type of thing where we're uh, all from like different groups and we all have to join together for whatever reason. No, okay, yeah, yeah, I do like that. So maybe um, teamwork? Yeah. Yeah. So we've got talking romance, tough, teamwork. Oh. Uh, tardiness or n not being tardy kind of like you know being on time to our classes <laughs> maybe like we get suplexed from the top turnbuckle if we're not on time elbow dropped like you know I think that's something that'll hopefully come up during play not necessarily a skill like hopefully one of the other skills kind of gets used in a way that leads to tardiness or untardiness, if that's a word. Um, what about fashion? Because I know that's oh. important to high schoolers. <laughs> and a lot of people, not me, clearly. <laughs> what do you guys think about that? Yeah. I, I like I like fashion to be honest. I think fashion's a pretty solid skill. My character wears Jinko jeans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So these sixteen skills that we've all come up with are the only roles allowed in the game. So all challenges will revolve around these skills and every player has access to these skills. So Jay, just because your character doesn't have a driver's license doesn't mean you can't make a driving role, um, et cetera, et cetera. And if you don't have a bonus to a skill that you use, you just use the dice, you get a plus zero. So now I'm going to be, according to these rules, taking five minutes to jot down notes, but I'm likely going to stretch that out to 15 or even 20 minutes to uh, jot down some notes and ideas before the game begins. And the game sh should begin in the middle of the action. And 
yeah, I think the rest of these rules are for me. So we're going to take a 15 minute break. It is currently 7.45 on our live broadcast. We will be back at eight o'clock to see what happens when Scrimball Jimbity, Buzzy Jenkins, and Marty McBuzzbuzz awaken in a strange place.
Welcome back to whatever <laughs> this is. <laughs> you awaken in a strange place. By Jacob um, Andrews of the Drawfree Channel. <laughs> Buzzy, Marty, and Scrimball, you each awaken in a strange place. You're individually in a cramped, dark place. You have been stuffed into a cabinet or something. You do not sense each other yet you only sense the smell of sweat and poop and water <laughs> and you're in this cramped space you awaken in this strange place and each of you can tell me one at a time we'll just go from top to bottom what I have on my screen Weston um, Scrimball what do you do as you awake in these cramped quarters oh geez oh gosh oh it's oh and I kind of like pound on the uh, the surface in front of me it it kind of um, budges like a door you can see or hear hinges and there's these little vents right in front of you where you can peek outside. Um, Buzzy and Marty, you guys hear Scrimball's voice, and it's kind of like muffled and a little bit echoed, and you can hear the rattling of his door as he bangs on it. Um, Buzzy, or sorry, Marty, what do you do? Could I make an athletics check to try and, like, break out of my restraints? Absolutely. So go ahead and roll 2d6 and add plus one to your result. That's a six in total. Uh, you bang, and you're getting some movement, but it's going to take a lot more. So you can keep banging to pry your way out. Uh, fuzzy. What do you do as you hear this banging and Scrimble's voice? Ooh. Uh, what? What's that? Uh, what's that smell? Mm, that smells good. <laughs> I'm feeling very upset and a little bit what? frightened. Why? Why am I in restraints right now? Who did this to me? So each of you, as you are banging on the door, Marty, you're each like um, uh, opposite each other and a little bit away. And you're starting to realize just by peeking out the vents in front of you that you are in a locker room and you've each been stuffed into a locker. I'm experiencing extreme sensory discomfort. Oh. I'm Lucky. the one who shoves kids into lockers. Why am I in here? <laughs> I want to know the same thing. I pay you a lot for protection. Don't talk to me, dweeb. Oh. And that Marty, hurt. you are a you're able to bust out of your locker and you can see your surroundings are a very, it's dark and it's dim, but you recognize that you are in the gym locker room. Okay. Okay. Do I, do we have like cell phones or is this like, <laughs> we should have established this first time. <laughs> no, it's no, it's, we have to establish things as we go. That's the, the way the game works. Um, you search your pockets for your locker, for your uh, cell phone, and you do not have it on you. Um, in fact, you are only in your underwear. 
Come on. <laughs> Let us out of here. Let us out. I don't like confined spaces. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, gosh. <laughs> I'm going to try and help out my, uh, my fellow prisoners. All right. As you let Scrimball out and uh, Buzzy out of their lockers, you guys are all in your underwear. And before you have time to think or act, the door opens on the other side of the gym locker room and the lights all go on and you see the women's or girls volleyball fly human squad all come running into the locker room. Oh my gosh, Jenny, did you believe how they were? And they're all talking and they surround you, the three of you as you are half naked in the locker room and they're about to use it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, Buzz. I uh, feel very vulnerable in this position. I genuinely didn't uh, plan on being here, everybody. I am very sorry. Uh, this is most inappropriate, and I give you my sincerest apologies. Oh. Please just don't look. I, I, I feel very exposed. If you, if any of you have an extra towel or something, we were left in here. Um, I guess uh, someone we just woke up in there. It was very uncomfortable. Um, Buzzy, as you hear your friend speaking, you see your girlfriend, B.B. Wallace. Buzzy, what are you guys doing? And her proposal oh. a couple of times. Oh. oh, babe, you would never guess what just happened to us. We, uh, got really dirty. And we needed to take a shower, but we <laughs> went into the wrong room, and uh, now we're here. <laughs> Isn't that funny, uh, babe? Is this like a joke? And she's like trying to keep cool in front of her friends, but she's clearly distraught by your behavior. Oh, goodness. Did you guys lead me into the girls' locker room again? Oh! My teenage so why don't vulnerability! We it was an accident, Buzzy. I swear. Buzzy, you can roll a plus one. 2d6 plus one for your silver tongue talks out of trouble skill. As... Your girlfriend, B.B. Wallace, and all of her friends are all just crowding around you guys, pointing and laughing. I got a 10. Um. She goes, okay, silly joke, guys. Um, I guess you had to use our showers, but, like, we need to use them now. Hello. Uh, didn't you hear me? My, I said we came into this locker room on accident. This is not a joke. Okay, well, Buzzy, don't, just don't, make sure you... I, I don't like what you're implying about me right now. I'm going to leave. God. Okay, just like call me later. <laughs> Boyfriend. We held hands the other day, and um, <laughs> she collects all of her fly friends, and they all kind of point, and they're all whispering to each other, and the teacher is, like, smoking a cigarette and takes a bite of poo and says, get out of here, kids. <laughs> like a cigar? <laughs> like they just have a cigar of doo-doo? Yeah. Of doo-doo. <laughs> Get out of here. Sorry, coach. Excuse oh, me, do you have any uh, Do you know where I could find a change of clothes? I seem to have misplaced mine and left only in my undies. Oh yeah. I'm... 
unless you're gonna wear women's clothing, I ain't gonna be able to help you. I don't have any problem wearing uh, any clothing because clothing has no gender. I actually All have right, we got... uh, several pairs of clothing uh, stuffed into my locker. Uh, we could uh, go check that out. Oh, that sounds great, Buzzy. Thank you. Hey, Scrimball, we got some loners over here. And she points to a bin of of clothes that have flies, actual flies flying around it. <laughs> uh, no offense, but I am very afraid of infection, and I think that would be not great to wear. What? Okay, well, uh, bye, coach. Piss off. <sighs> I don't know how you get uh keep keep tenure talking to children like that. All right, you maggots. I mean flies. You all used to be maggots. Let's chop chop. Let's get this shit together. And the rest of the girls squad gets ready for their next activity as you guys are able to talk your way out of that situation. You as you exit the locker room you're all in your underwear, and across the hall is the boys' gym locker room. And you guys secret yourselves into it and go to your individual lockers where you find that all of the locker doors are open and all of the clothing has been removed from them. And there is only uniforms and um like spirit shirts and rally shirts and cheerleader outfits for the alpha spiders the um opponents of your big game tonight for the air polo game oh this is most upsetting I'm starting to get a clearer picture of what happened to us and how we ended up asleep in those lockers. Starting to put it together, but haven't quite... Hmm. Let me think on it. Um, additionally, you guys might have had any clothing or items that you had prepped for the prom night that's tonight after the game and you find they are all missing replaced with the alpha spiders garb oh geez these all have the wrong number of legs i just need six appendage holes for for me and my body these have eight what am i supposed to do with that what happened to my Buzzito? <laughs> Great, we're all going to look like boners on the dance floor tonight. Well, we might be able to make it fashion if we tie the extra pair of arms like a like a little waistband. I slap, uh, what's your name? <laughs> Scrimball. I slap Scrimball across the back of the head. Uh, hey! No. That's <laughs> stupid. Well, I mean, uh, I appreciate the input. However, I am uh, the, one, the brains of the operation, after all. Um, you forget that I have a driver's license? Oh, shit. Buzzy. We could just drive back to my pad and grab some, grab some more Jinkos and some sandals and we'll be on our way. Oh. <laughs> 
All right, your tree house it is. Let's, we, let's make a move on, though. Do we know what time it is? Oh, we don't even and, know what period um, it is. Yeah. And as you ask this, Marty, you guys hear a banging from one locker that was left closed or uh, in the corner. Bleep floor. Hey, let me out of here. Bleep floor. Buzz, buzz, calm down. I'll get you out of there. Um, you recognize the voice, uh, Scrimball. This is your robot friend, Buddy Ball, Jim Scrim. Oh, jeez. Buddy Ball. Oh, no. Let me out of here. It's almost time for the game. Right away, little buddy. And um, you open the locker and your little robo fly human friend who's like, you know, half your size is covered in uh, jock straps for flies. And he's like, Rip, rip, oh, the game's gonna start soon. It looks like those alpha strainers got to us again. <laughs> what a fumble. <laughs> Sports joke. Rip, 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 rip. You're the best audience, little buddy. <laughs> Cue canned applause out of his speaker. <laughs> well, we we better get going to Marty's house with uh, now that we've got you, guy. Let's go, Brooklyn. And his uh, treadmill legs start animating. As you guys uh, leave the locker room, are you going to improvise any clothing or leave in your underwear? Oh. Um, I can't be seen in public like this. I'm afraid I'll get in trouble. I I'm just going to have to to buckle down and put on whatever whatever I can do to, to cover up my, my private parts. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Me, I'll do it too. One of these these spider uh, uniforms. Try and make it fashion. Oh dear. I don't know right, so. where the leg, which leg goes where, and where the head goes where. This is just all so confusing to me. Let me help you, bud. Uh, so why don't each of you roll 2d6. You don't add any modifiers as you try to fashion this. Um, it is a little bit difficult because your thorax is... And abdomen are two separate pieces, but for a spider, they're, I believe, usually one. So it's a bit odd as you guys stick your appendages through these spider-fashioned enemy opposing team outfits. Um, Scrimball, what'd you get? A five. Nice. So you've got it on sideways. Your head is sticking out like one of the arm appendages. And you've only got two legs sticking out the other. Um, Marty, what did you get? I got a seven. Okay, so Marty's got pretty much the same story going on, but he's got a couple more legs appendages that he can use. And Buzzy, what do you got? I got 11. Buzzy's actually improvised his to be somewhat <laughs> functional, and he's got two extra appendages 
that are just have no legs sticking out the ba- uh, sticking out the bottom, so it actually looks decent. And he's uh, turned it inside out, so the Alpha Spider's logo is not really visible on it. And the other two of you just look like dumbasses. And as the three of you exit the gym locker room, you hear the bell. Bling, 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 bling. Bell sound! As the rest of the school is released for the day and the halls start crowding and people are immediately recognizing, especially um, uh, Scrimball and Marty and pointing and laughing. (laughs) Why are you in an alpha spider's outfit? Buzz. Let me tell you. We've had such a weird afternoon. Please, please give us mercy. We're, we don't mean to offend anyone. They're alpha spiders. We got to take them out. So you can roll your um, silver tongue talks out of trouble. And because it's actually buzzy skill, you get a plus zero, I think, on this roll. No, I have a not getting in trouble plus one. Oh, okay, sure. You can roll that. Lucky. Uh, t- total of seven. They swarm you. Like, all these bro, you know, um, um, polo players on the fly team just start taking off your... Um, Alpha Spider's uniform. You can't wear that here. We're wearing mean and tough. This definitely constitutes and... assault. I am feeling very uncomfortable, and I do not like how you people are treating me. It's quite disrespectful, and it hurts my feelings, and it's going to affect my self confidence. I, su- I, I suggest you unhand me. I hate all those big words. And uh, Marty, you're getting similar treatment as all of these fly bros start ripping off the logos for the alpha spiders on you guys. Is there anything you guys want to do in response? I would like all of your names and your addresses. I'm going to call your parents. <laughs> Do you guys know who my dad is? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, um, as Marty and Scrimball are left with their logo-less, torn clothing, um, and Buzzy, you do see uh, your girlfriend, BB, kind of come up to you and she's like, oh, I'm so glad you're not like with them, with them right now. Like, you're pretty cool. Like, you know. And um, as you guys are in this situation, you hear over the loudspeaker. Marty McBuzzbuzz, your mother, kill all spiders, is here to pick you up. Please meet her outside. The school at the designated pickup place. (laughs) Sweet, my mom's back from her business trip. (laughs) Yeah, Marty's Marty's gonna go (laughs) go to that pickup spot, man. Oh, our I Um, I I thought we were all going to ride with Buzzy. I, Buzzy, we could uh, go with, with Marty instead. If, if uh, It'll save you gas money. No, you, you guys are coming with me. And you spider jerks better take your hands off these nerds. Otherwise, your ass is grass. Uh, I'll allow um, an athletics check from you. Buzzy or Silvertongue, they're both plus one, to intimidate these. They're actually fly bros. 
but uh, to intimidate these guys uh, to leave them alone. Uh, two d six plus one. Yeah, I got a nine. A nine. Okay. Um, you're able to wrestle them off, but not before they take one HP of emotional slash physical damage so each of you have 10 <laughs> hp but um marty and scrimble you are reduced to nine out of your 10 hp as um buzzy is able to pull you guys from them and you guys make your way outside to the pickup spot of the treehouse school and you can see um, Marty's mom, Kill All Spiders, is in her station wagon. She's like honking the horn. Honk, 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 honk. Come on, Marty! Hurry up! I'm coming, Mom. <laughs> so, do you guys um, oh. join Marty or no? Well, uh, I don't want to split up. Let's go talk to Marty's mom. Yeah. Give, tell, uh, give her some sort of excuse. Uh, you're, you guys are coming with me. Wait, I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Hey, hey McBuzz, Miss, Mc, Miss McBuzzBuzz. Oh, hey, Scrimball. Hey, sweetie. Hey, so... um. I just wanted to know, because it's prom tonight, and there's the big game, if we couldn't just steal Marty from you. I know you came all the way out here, but I, I hope you. I hope that's not too much trouble. Okay, as long as I get a kiss for my little Marty McFuzzbuzz first. Scare Marty, and she hands you your the corsage that you can give your prom date. Give Mama a kiss, and she sticks her purpose kiss out. You heard the lady. <laughs> Just smooch her per proboscis per and we can go. Very, very <laughs> Marty, Marty will, will smooch the proboscis. Good boy. Good luck on your game tonight. And she does whatever flies do with their thing and drives away. Hong Kong. Good luck. Fly boys. <laughs> Goodbye. Drives away in her in her flying station wagon from the treehouse school. All right, Jenkins, where'd you park? Oh, I'm I'm out in the the back parking lot. Oh, where the cool kids park. Oh yeah. That's where I right. go to that's where I go to sell uh booger sugar. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear all about how people like eating sugar and you sell it just the regular sugar <laughs> that people eat with their proboscis and we call it booger sugar <laughs> <laughs> or just sugar for short <laughs> um <laughs> balls robot friend, buddy ball is like blip blorp I can't have that after 5pm blip blorp I'm trying to cut white um, sugar out of my diet as well. So, um, Jenkins, Buzzy, what are you driving? Um, all right, this is my, uh, my Ford, uh, Buzz 125. <laughs> Four Buzz 125. Yeah, everyone knows those those trucks. Uh, I was got, imagining uh, what? 
Go ahead. Go ahead. It's it's got three thousand spider power. <laughs> As you rev up what is the equivalent of a Ford Taurus. <laughs> I need you guys to push uh while I uh <laughs> Oh, we know the drill. Yeah, all right. (laughs) I'm in robotics, remember? That's spider engineering for you. (laughs) (laughs) So you guys do a a push start on his vehicle. I've already forgotten what you called it. (laughs) It's a Ford Buzz 125. He kicks it into, into gear as it's going down a treehouse hill. <laughs> and then opens the doors for you all to get in. And uh, you guys jet to whose house are you going to? Whose treehouse? We're going to Buzzy's, right? Yeah, we're going to my house. And as you guys are lit are driving, this is a windy coming of age story in rural New Mexico and that New Mexico heat wind starts battering the vehicle causing all sorts of turbulence Buzzy you will need to make a driving skill check as the vehicle is rocked back and forth uh, can, can I help? Sure how? Um, using my uh, robotics knowledge I will sit on and brain sure so you so you send buddy ball out to see if you can get four thousand spider power out of your three thousand spider power engine yeah he has uh you know just as many legs as so he's like and they have like all these great little attachments that help him grip even at high speeds so he uh assembles the hamster wheel and attaches it to the hood of the vehicle and starts running (laughs) <laughs> so each of you can roll 2d6 plus 2. And the higher result will be applied. I got a 6. Total of 7. And the vehicle <laughs> careens goes for a boost of speed and smashes into the school um, library. (laughs) Books go flying everywhere. Did did Jay have a result? Did I miss that? Um, You were doing a helping role. Oh, sorry, yeah. I was in the back seat. (laughs) Yeah, he was in the back seat. My bad. Each of you go crashing into the library. Books go flying everywhere. The librarian is like, oh, 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 oh. as you guys crash into the library, each of you take two HP, reducing your 10 if, or nine, whichever was the case, by an additional two. And you can hear the engine of your Ford Buzz 3000, whatever it was. And a blast of smoke comes out the tailpipe. Oh, great! I feel uh, responsible for this. I, I I do apologize, but... Don't worry, uh, I, I will help fix the vehicle. Uh, you know about Fords. Well, I, I know a great deal about engineering and mechanics. Okay, um, I'm listening. Well, you know, uh, let's let's uh, go take a look. at. I think she might have a little bit of uh, trouble getting started again, but we might be able to get it at least back to your place. 
And as the librarian is just running around in the background, oh! Uh, we might want to check in with her, make sure she's not injured in some way, I guess. Books and papers flying around everywhere. Are you going to inspect the engine scrimball? Uh, yeah. Okay, buddy Using my ball. brain smarts. Buddy ball stops running on the hamster wheel. Dang, thought that would help. Blurp, blurp, and comes next to you to inspect the engine. You can make a robotics roll to repair it. Five total. Uh, as you go to repair it, it catches fire. Well, I guess we're flying back to your house, Buzzy. Yeah. Uh, I guess guys, that's why... What? I don't know a lot about books, but I think they catch on fire pretty easily. Oh, yeah, we should probably do something about that. Let's uh try and help. Yeah. Is there a fine fire extinguisher check? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm going to roll it. <laughs> the fire extinguisher, as you grab it and go to shoot it at the engine, it just comes out this like white dust, and the expiration date is way past on it. This is a shame on the McBuzz Buzz legacy. God. <laughs> School should be run better than this. Um, you see B.B. Wallace, Buzzy's girlfriend, put down a book, and she's like, Oh my god, Buzzy, do you need to use my car? Uh, I mean, that would be great, babe. I mean, if that's okay. Okay, just don't tell my parents and give me a smooch. And she, her proboscis comes out. <laughs> we barf on each other. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Jenkins in the library. Wow. I thought there was a specific no PDAs rule at this school. <laughs> the librarian in the background. Oh! Stop, drop, and roll is the usual rule of thumb when dealing with fires, librarian. So you get in um, her Mustang Turd 2000, and you guys are able to drive it safely back to um, Buzzy Jenkins' place. Uh. <laughs> Thank God. Um, his his parents are gone as usual. What do you guys do as you get to Buzzy Jenkins' place in preparation for the upcoming air polo game and prom night? Oh, geez, we better hurry. The game is probably starting soon. Yeah, let's go up to my let's go up to my room and uh, I'll let y'all borrow some clothes, but only for tonight. Oh, of course. Thank you so much for your generosity, Buzzy. He wipes some barf from his face. <laughs> You're such a charmer. I'll expect payment later. Uh, <laughs> as per usual, yeah. So when they get to your room, um, Buzzy Jenkins, what do they see? What's your room like? Um, it's really messy. Uh, there are uh, open, empty, open, open bag of chips, uh, just all over the floor. Um, Poop chips. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of just like throw up stains, barf stains everywhere. 
Okay, each of you has to make a 2d6 roll. This is a toughness roll as this um, stench and grossness, which is too far even for a fly person. Um, you, you have to steel yourselves against the stench. Um, Scrimball, what'd you get? Uh, a total of eight. Uh, you lose one HP. <laughs> um, Marty, what did you get? Marty also got an eight. So you also lose one HP. And Buzzy, what did you get? Seven. The smell of your own room causes physical harm to you. You also lose <laughs> one HP. And, uh, um, go ahead. Sorry about the smell, guys. Uh, I, I, I don't know what that is. It's okay. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I have. Don't tell anybody about this. This is my secret, but I have IBS. And if you tell anyone, I will kill you. Look, Jenkins, that's not a secret, man. Everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I've, I've been studying uh, your condition, actually, uh, in my off time to try and uh, maybe cure it someday. Just me specifically? No, just IBS more generally. Oh, I know that okay. you, you just smell so bad all the time. I, you know, it's kind of uh, uh, in one way. I appreciate the the pheromonal uh, kind of uh, understanding, really, that I gain of you as a result. Um, but also, you I know, smell I smell bad all the time. I like a hot ass. Yeah. <laughs> My wait. Why doesn't uh, Phoebe say anything? Uh, you, you know, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Just, uh, focus on your hygiene, I think is a good call. Uh, make sure you wipe well after you're done going to the bathroom and, uh, I make never, sure that you try I, and... I never wipe. <laughs> yeah. Buddy uh... Ball, the, the robot goes to you, um, uh, Buzzy, and he's like, I removed her all factory senses. You're in the clear, bud. Blip, blorp. I, I didn't ask you to do that. That's a. Uh, we'll talk about this later. You're in trouble. Just think about it like that. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> I didn't know you even had that power. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty intense. We got a game to go to, right? Blip blorp. Oh, yeah. All right, well, here's a. Uh... I have I only wear Jinkos and uh so y'all will have to wear some Jinko jeans. How am I supposed and to play in the game in Jinko jeans, man? <laughs> <laughs> See, it's uh the thing is is it'll be a fashion statement and uh you yeah. know before you know it they'll be doing it in the the BFL the the Bug Football League. <laughs> Also, I only have a extra large or XXL uh, ratty sweatsh uh, hoodies. <laughs> uh, well, that'll do. So Q, they Q, say, uh, "Go ahead." They say insane fly posse on them. <laughs> Cue the insane fly posse music as you guys like kind of slow mo walk outside of this home in your treehouse. Um, outside of this treehouse, as you walk slow motion in your Jinko jeans, oversized hoodies, <laughs> and um, get inside BB Wallace's Mustang turd vehicle which is named after a 
the droppings of our Mustang in, in case you didn't quite understand that. And you guys make your way <laughs> towards the game, arrive just in time <laughs> to get to the coach's speech where you guys are all inexplicably on the team. And he's saying, look, those guys out there, they all used to be maggots just like you. And they're all just shit eaters just like you. And there's no reason yeah. you can't all beat them. Now let's yeah. go out there and eat shit. Yeah! Yeah, eat shit. Eat shit. I We're love gonna... the taste and the smell. We're going to eat their fucking shit. And you guys all, all go running out onto the treehouse field for some air polo. I'm uh, the manager. I don't play on the team. I, I just, uh, I help with strategy. <laughs> That's perfect. You're still in Jinko jeans and oversized hoodie. Though. Oh, this is my prom outfit. <laughs> <laughs> and... As you guys go running out onto the field, you take off into the air um, above it and um, um, scrimball. You have your headset and clipboard in front of you and Buzzy, you have your like bro gang next to you. Yeah, we're going to do it. And you're all punching each other in the face. <laughs> and Martin, <laughs> you're... Everyone is in the crowd. You can do it. You're a spider killer. <laughs> and you guys can see the opposing team of spider hybrid people are all slinging webs to get into the air with you guys. And they're all kind of in their webs looking tough and like chest or thorax, abdomen bumping each other. <laughs> headbutting each other, knocking one set of eyeballs out and picking them up and putting them back in. Kill flies! Eat flies! And uh, as you guys line up, the game is about to begin. And each of you are, because it's air polo and your flies and spiders, you each mount dragonflies. Oh. That's pretty cool. And grab your sticks. And, um, Uh, as your the field is like right behind a horse's bottom, and when its tail flips the perfect way, the game begins right outside the horse's ass. And with that, you're off, chasing this little poo ball in the air, swinging it back and forth on your dragonflies. Don't let them intimidate you. Play your game. Um, Be one with the stick. You, each of you, uh, Buzzy and Marty, you guys can roll your um, athletics check. So Marty, you get a plus one. Buzzy, you get a plus zero. I got a total of three. Nice. Um, so Marty, you um immediately get the poo ball and fumble it into the opposing team, and you can see your rival kill all flies. He's this very tough spider with like tattoos on his face, and he's like Kill all flies. And he takes the ball from you. And then Buzzy Jenkins.
Hopkins comes in and steals it from him. Yeah. Slick moves, and, pal. Aha. Take that. I'm going <laughs> to go for the gold. I, I guess that's what you do in polo. So you get the gold, <laughs> Fuzzy. And you guys score one gold. <laughs> I'm glad you know how Poet works. <laughs> Absolutely. Well versed, thank you. The horse the horse tail flicks and a new poo ball enters the battlefield. And a new game begins. <laughs> Major of you can roll again. <laughs> Do I get to help because I'm the coach <laughs> or I'm the manager? Yeah. And I don't the strategy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can roll a teamwork check. So 2d6. I got, oh, I got a 10. And Marty, what did you get? Uh, Marty got a five. Okay. And Buzzy, how about you? I got a six. So Buzzy and Marty, you guys kind of get um, pushed aside by this expertly uh, choreographed blitz from the opponent, opposing polo team. And kill all flies goes up the center line. And right when he hits the poo towards the goal, um, Scrimball, you can see the goalie is lacking confidence, doesn't know what to do. You have a teamwork moment. What do you say into his ear? Lawrence, it's a, it's a typical red 42. We've drilled this a thousand times. Go for it, buddy! Red 42, you got it! And he just opens his wings and lets the poo just hit him all over. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> so... <laughs> You're gross. <laughs> and he falls to the ground, blocking the shot, but now he'll. you guys are going to be out of a goalie on the next round. It's the, the final quarter. <laughs> It flies down, that's right. <laughs> and it's the last quarter as the game continues. It's the last move of the last quarter. You guys are ahead by one gold and kill all flies. Has the poo. He's going for the goal and there's no goalie there. Each of you can make your athletics or teamwork roll. Oh, nice. Um, go ahead with your teamwork roll, Scrimball. It's a total of two. Nice. Buzzy, or I'm sorry, Marty? A uh, total of six. And Buzzy. I got a ten. Buzzy, you go to intercept and... Kill all. Oh, wait, Ronnie, you got the 10? Yeah. Okay, so Marty, you go to intercept, kill all flies, and much to your ancestral um, pride's chagrin, he's able to spin around you. The spider gets you caught in his webs. And Scrimball, you give out the shout for what play you think he's going to use. And he uses a green 57 instead of a blue 86. And you give out the wrong call and all these players fumble and fall. And now it's just buzzy and kill all flies. And they just ram into each other. And as they do, the poo falls 
and the buzzer sounds. You guys win by one gold. Ah! I am filled with pride! Jenkins! Jenkins! <laughs> Jenkins! 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 I'm gonna lift Jenkins up onto my flat shoulders. <clears throat> yeah, we're number one. <laughs> Couldn't done when it, done it without you guys. I love you. Oh, it smells and... like shit down here. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, and team! All of the um, spider hybrids. Girlfriends and cheerleaders rush the field and chomp off their heads and eat their bodies. And you guys are all the winners. <laughs> it's a short but glorious lifespan. Would it be uh, look, look down upon to join them? <laughs> I don't know if it's it's for eating your, your opposing players. And uh, you hear the Black Widows, yeah, good prom! And they all leave. <laughs> and uh, Buddy Ball comes up to you, um, Scrimball. Hey, speaking of which, don't we have a prom to go to? Blip blorp. <laughs> yeah, hopefully they'll let us in with how we're dressed, because we don't have, we got our clothes <laughs> stolen, remember? So uh, we're just, we're, we're rocking the Jinkos and the, uh, System of a buzz buzz uh, sweaters. You got a, you got a problem with my jinkos? Absolutely not. You just you know I hope the school doesn't have a problem letting us in with them because usually it's like you know uh, uh, they expect you to dress less than casually. But we'll explain it to them that we're very cool and we just won the game. That's my nicest pair of jinkos that I gave you. And that's, I, I can tell because they have the, the strip down the side that's like got the, the stripes and, uh, you know, they, they have the cuff that's sewn up to it. And I, I, they're, they're very high fashion. <laughs> Not a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> but they can be. <laughs> yes. Are you that's listening? <laughs> um and bb comes up to you buzzy oh my god you guys totally won it was all on you buzzy you're the best and she gives you a big hug and barfs on you <laughs> thanks babe i couldn't have done it without you and um Scrimball, you see um, a girl at your school, a bookworm type, uh, Ladybug, and she's a little bit shy, and she's just standing, and she's like, oh, good, good, uh, you did a good job, Scrimball, you guys were really good. Thank you. My armpits are sweating. Oh my god, my armpits are sweating too. We should sweat them on each other. Yeah, my butt crack is sweating, too. I'm not ready for that. Just the armpits. Yeah, me either. <laughs> so you guys sweat your armpits on each other and fall in love. And um, Marty, you see um, another fly girl named Pixie. And she's just comes up to you and starts kissing you and barfing on you. Oh, my God, I love you. <laughs> Barf back. <laughs> That's my favorite quote of the game. And the three of the six of you pile into BB's vehicle, the Mustang Turd 2000, and in your Jinko and oversized hoodies, make your way towards the treehouse of prom. <laughs> And 
And um, as you guys are driving, you hear the sound of an overcompensating engine and a giant truck with headlights and extra headlights and beam lights on its top rack shoot into your rear view mirror as another overcompensating truck rolls in front of you with extra gas coming out of its tailpipe and little poop splats on your windshield. I overcompensate with my robot. I totally understand this behavior. <laughs> blurp, blurp. That was in the contract. Blurp, blurp. <laughs> and um, Buzzy, you are being crowded by these two giant vehicles. You're driving the Mustang turd. What would you like to do? Can I slam on the brakes? <laughs> yeah, you can try to slam on the brakes and, and outdrive them, outmaneuver them. You can make a driving roll. You have plus two to your D6 result. Hold on to your hats, boys. <laughs> oh, I got a six. And as you slam on the brakes, it just makes the two vehicles crowd you, and then your vehicle is stopped, completely immobilized by between these two giant <laughs> fighter trucks. Oh. So, um, scrim Scrimball, you may have missed that the two giant trucks immobilize the vehicle. And you guys are trapped between these trucks as all the, as all these alpha spiders bros get out. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, we got us some flies tonight. You're just talking the spiders, wow! And they're spitting web at each other and slapping each other's thoraxes uh, as they crowd Buzzy. around your guys' vehicle. Uh, Buzzy, I look at you and the I look I like turn and look at you directly in the eyes, and I'm like, Buzzy. Now's your time. Spray these dorks with your ass. I know you've got it in you. My ass. Oh, oh, yes. All right. Uh, here goes nothing. Hey, spider jerks. I said, hey, spider jerks. <laughs> Yeah, what you what you want, bro? What you want, little <laughs> flying on web? Get a load of this. <laughs> God, I was waiting for Wait. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, Jesus, what new lows can we hit? <laughs> Go ahead and roll 2d6 minus 1. <laughs> I got a 4. Well, they got a 2. They're like in your face like, yeah, what you got? Like, let's see. And they're like helping you roll down your window. And meanwhile, BB is like, oh my god, Buzzy, what are you doing right now? What are you doing? Please. Oh, oh I can't look. And you... Yeah, you do exactly what you all anticipate. <laughs> and all of the spider bros are like, oh, I'll never web the same. Let them go. <laughs> and they get in their trucks and leave you guys be so that you can make it to the prom safely. <laughs> I learned Natal. that one on a natural... <laughs> Natal, I learned that one in an episode of National Buzzographic. The trucks peel away. You guys make it to the prom safely. And the whole time, um, BB is like heart eyes for you, Buzzy. Oh my God, I never knew you could do that. That's so <laughs> amazing. That's so cool. Never knew your ass shit like that. <laughs> oh no. What have I done? Grandma always
always said we all have our one special thing. <laughs> it was super impressive. And also, really, uh, I feel some kind hey, of way about it. Guys, I'm uh, pretty dehydrated right now, I think. <laughs> so... But, um, Marty, you lose one HP from the smell. Scrimball, you lose one HP from the smell. Oh, no. And Buzzy, I'm you lose pass. two HP because you're dehydrated and the smell. <laughs> Wait, it's not in the car. Why would the smell be affecting us still? I made a statement about the world. It's true. <laughs> 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 Scrimball, what's your HP at? What's everyone's uh, HP currently? Uh, mine's at five, I believe. Five. Okay. We're all at five. Okay. You guys see prom, and the theme is Hawaiian nights. So there's uh, luau's, there's um, the lays, and um, you guys are all in your jinko and hoodies. You got your girlfriends, BB, Ladybug, and Pixie with you. And there's um, a live band. The Beatles are playing. <laughs> and um, as you enter, it's just, you know, a, a total light show. All the guy flies are on one side. All the girl flies are on the other side. Everyone's too shy to dance with each other as you guys enter the prom night. What would you like to do? <laughs> Uh, uh, so we get let in in the the jinkos and the hoodies, or are we just um, getting there? Uh, you're let in. You're in there. Okay. You get oh, some geez. odd looks, but you're inside. Look at all these people wearing what what was expected of them, and look at us uh, subverting the the social norm. I think this is pretty radical. What about you guys? Yeah, this is pretty punk rock, if you ask me. I I have to di I have to agree with you there. Yeah, we're literally the coolest people ever. <laughs> and I just want to do an epic uh, end end episode uh, movements. <laughs> <laughs> get it, get everyone dancing. Dance off? Oh. Yeah, we should dance. It looks like um BB, Ladybug, and Pixie are too shy to ask you guys to dance. So what do you want to do? Well, just come dance. Get up. We're dancing now. We're at a dance. Get up. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> make make a uh, silver tongue or a not getting in trouble roll, <laughs> Grimball. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a six. And uh, no one seems to be. You go out on the dance floor by yourself, and you're like, "Come on, dance!" This is a dance. Everyone dance. And no one is joining you. Uh, what kind of music is playing? Um, legally distinctive from the Beatles. The Beatles music is playing. Oh, yeah. So, um, I, I guess I'm... The I Beatles know, spelled I... B-E-E-T-L-E-S music I'm, is playing. I'm, I'm guessing... Uh, they've uh, they're completely different than that other band we might be imagining, and they uh have like some kind of like 
fun rhythm to dance to. <laughs> Kel- band, not not terribly danceable. <laughs> so, um, uh, Marty McBuzz Buzz, do you have any way to assist your friend? Or get people dancing. (laughs) And as it's just um, Scrimball out on the dance floor, you guys hear a familiar sound. And some headlight beams shoot into the treehouse building of your prom night. And it looks like the Alpha Spider Bros are back for revenge. You have a few minutes, a few moments to prepare before they enter the building. What would you like to do? Well, uh, this party was kind of dumb anyway. Uh, I think we have learned a lesson here today. And that is that uh, anytime you try and uh, organize fun, it usually ends up being less fun. That is very true. Uh, Scrimulous, you think you can distract these? (laughs) Distract them? Let's just leave. (laughs) This place is busted. Let's go. (laughs) We we can't let them ruin prom, man. Eh, Who cares? (laughs) Um, my great 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 grandfather spider killed <laughs> buzz buzz would fucking care oh well I don't want to I don't want to uh, insult your family so yeah I guess you better go do something about this <laughs> <laughs> lady ladybug looks at you scrimball heartbroken this is my this is our prom night Oh, I, I meant to tell you, Ladybug, I'm not even really sure that I actually have feelings for you. I think it might just be, like, social anxiety, hormones, something like that. I don't know, you know? It's it's okay, though. We can still be friends. She cries and runs out of the prom as spider bros start <laughs> entering the building. Um, Marty McBuzzBuzz, you have a quick moment to attempt to prank or subterfuge these alpha spiders, what would you like to do? Did they all leave their truck? Yes. I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> Wait, if we're stealing vehicles, I'm definitely coming with you. Oh, hell yes, yeah, Scrooge. Let's come on. You coming too, Jenkins? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm... I, I've stolen many a vehicle in my day. Hey, can any of you guys bail us out if we get arrested? You robot, bro. Oh, all right. Let's go. <laughs> so, um, Marty, you can roll 2d6 plus 2 to hijack these vehicles. All right. All right. That's an 11. You guys sneak out of the prom with um, <laughs> Pixie and BB, and um, not only do you steal one of the trucks, but you immobilize the other trucks. You make it so that they won't be able to start and run. And you guys get into your trucks and drive away. As you do, you can hear the alpha spiders. What? Owen, what's going on? What the Owen? We came here to subterfuge your prom. Ah! And they, with their reattached heads, are screaming and yelling at you guys as you go driving into the moonlight. <laughs> and that is where we will end our evening of you awaken in a strange place. Beautiful. What a rush. Great game, y'all. I've never seen so much pooping in a a tabletop RPG. Jesus Christ. (laughs)
<laughs> so much poop. Oh man. If you're if you're a fan of poop, this is for you. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> well. So, um, do you guys have anything to add to your ending as you go driving off in these trucks to the moonlight? Can we have a post credit scene of us doing donuts on the on the spider field? <laughs> oh, it's yes. a coming of age story. We have to. Yeah. As um, the... We have like the text and at the end it's like uh like for for instance, Scrimball uh, uh Scrimball Jimbity and uh and Ball Buddy, they you know, um they eventually like kind of like move to a, a, a large city, um, you know, and they learn to be a, a a great engineer and roboticist, but uh, they never they never quite settle down, you know. And they they always uh, seem distant. And eventually, you all grew apart. And uh, and Scrimball um, uh, eventually started like a a company that dealt with uh, engineering robotics. But he just stole all of his ideas and evaded taxes while taking all kinds of uh, government subsidies Scrimble. for his work and. You know, we ended up being a real scumbag um, that everybody hates on the internet. <laughs> He's kind of just a laughing stock, like a big joke that everybody makes fun of on the internet. It's really cool. Not for him, but for everybody else who gets to make fun of him for being a lame dork. With no swag, no drip, absolutely uh, functionless in society. He's kind of a lean. No swag. So, so, scrumbulous ends up swagless. Got you. Uh, Marty McBuzzbuzz is definitely gonna try to rekindle the McBuzzbuzz uh, legacy and make McBuzzbuzz High the best high school there could be. Yeah. Buzzy Jenkins, uh, his dad sends him to military school. <laughs> Short and sweet, buddy. Oh man, what, what after what what happens after military school? Nobody knows. <laughs> 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 and the credits roll to 80s music as the you awaken in a strange place the windy coming of age story that took place in rural new mexico where everybody eats spiders only in an alternate universe where we're evolved from flies everyone lives in tree houses and the <laughs> spider killer mcbuzz buzz high school where everyone has flying wings and flies barf out of their sponge teeth in this post-apocalyptic setting where we co-habilitate or uh, where we co-habitate with spider people and pull pranks on them comes to an end. Good job, everybody. <laughs> Great game, y'all. <laughs> thank you, Zach. Yeah, thank you, yeah, Zach. Yeah, thank you. Oh, please. Uh, it was painful for me. <laughs> um, thank you, everyone, for joining us. I hope it was both pleasurable and painful for you. We will continue. <laughs> we will continue our uh, 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. A week from now, when the Iron Hearts return on May 29th, 2022. If you would like me to run your game of Dungeons and Dragons or another tabletop RPG, see my menu on the nerdcrafty.com artist page. Uh, we hope to see you all again, even despite and after this. Uh, Weston, who are you and where can we find out, find more of you? I am Weston Lee Ball. Uh, actor, artist, musician, etc. Uh, you can find me tomorrow, uh, or no, uh, Tuesday at uh, three three o'clock 
um, at the same location for an art stream. You can also find me at Lava Submersible um, on Twitch or on TikTok and on uh, and on Instagram. Uh, Ronnie. Hey, I'm Ronnie. I'm uh, I go by MS Paint Trash. Uh, I have an art page on uh, Instagram and Facebook. You can check that out if you want. How about you, Jay? Uh, I'm Jay. You can't find me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you, uh, guys, for playing. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And we will see you next time. Thank Bye -bye you. Now.